We made a great AvGeek brief video on what density altitude is and how it affects your plane, but today we're going to show you how to get it or calculate it yourself, something we debatably should have done in the last video. Alright, Fly With The Guys is on the move, so today's video is being edited from a remote location using previously recorded footage and whatever my iPhone can do. But our last video and explanation was great at telling what you need to know about density altitude. There were a few things we left out though, like where do you get it and how do you calculate it if you need to. Now I'm going to assume you're a student pilot or you're smart and doing your flight planning before your flight, so let's cover a few ways to do it, starting with before you even get to the airport. One good way is from your electronic device. I use ForeFlight, but there are other applications that will provide weather information. You see here at my own airport, the temperature is 27 degrees Celsius and the density altitude is 3,191 feet. This really is a quick and easy way to do it, provided the information is current. Now if you don't fly with electronics, you can always call the airport's ASOS or AWOS system for the same information, like this. Phoenix, Deer Valley Municipal Airport. Most modern day weather reporting systems will provide density altitude, plus you'll get an up-to-date weather briefing for your flight. Remarks, density altitude 3,200. So both of these are great ways to grab the density altitude before you arrive at the airport. If you're already there, both still work or you can tune your radio to your weather station to get the same information. But let's say you can't get any weather information from your airport or your destination, like Marble Canyon in Arizona for instance. No automated weather system, no one to call, just a landing strip and a windsock. We literally had to fly over the airport to check the winds before we landed and then figure out density altitude for takeoff on our own. So how would you calculate it? Well it's easier than you think with this simple equation. Using maths and the order of operations, we take outside air temperature and subtract the standard temperature, multiply that by 120, and then add the pressure altitude. Now it does seem simple, but there are a few catches, like standard temperature. We all know that a standard day is 15 degrees Celsius and the altimeter setting should be 2992, but that's at sea level. The standard day temperature in Flagstaff, Arizona is actually closer to 1 degree Celsius. Let me show you. For every 1,000 feet above sea level, the standard temperature changes by 2 degrees Celsius. Flagstaff is at 7,000 feet, so 7 times 2 is 14. Take the standard sea level temperature and subtract 14, and we get Flagstaff's standard temperature, 1 degree Celsius. You can do the same math for your airfield too, like Deer Valley's standard temperature is 12 degrees Celsius. Anyways, what's important is that you use the airfield standard temperature in your calculation. Now for pressure altitude. This one's easy. Just adjust your altimeter to the standard 29.92 and it'll give you the pressure altitude for the equation. So let's do a quick example from our last video at Deer Valley Airport. Plugging in all the numbers, we saw our pressure was standard, which means we're going to use our field's elevation of 1,478 feet. Outside air temperature was 35 degrees Celsius, and as mentioned before, our field standard temperature is 12 degrees Celsius. That gives us 23 multiplied by 120 to get 2,760, plus the pressure altitude, and we get a density altitude of 4,238. Four flight said 4,166, but that's because it's using exact numbers to calculate things, and we're using rounded numbers, but plus or minus 100 feet between calculate and actual is totally fine. Another way to calculate density altitude is to use this guy, an E6B. Not that I fly much with it anymore, but it's quick and easy. We're going to use the same information as before, but with a bit more rounding because this guy is far from exact. Looking at this corner here, we have pressure altitude and temperature. Just remember that the pressure altitude and density altitude windows are in thousands of feet. All we have to do is move the current temperature of 35 degrees Celsius over the pressure altitude of 1500 feet, and we get right about 4100 feet. Now there is one last way to calculate density altitude by using a density altitude chart. Since you may be watching this so you can learn how to use one, we'll go over it real quick. All you need is the pressure altitude and temperature. If you don't have the pressure altitude, you would take the field's elevation and correct it using this altimeter setting chart right over here. 
Granted, you may have to extrapolate a little, but you would add or subtract the corresponding feet from your field's elevation to get the pressure altitude. And then sticking with our previous example, we're going to use 29.92, which is zero change to our field elevation. Then you would move over to this side and start along the bottom with temperature. Again, using 35 degrees Celsius, we would draw a line straight up the graph. Then using these diagonal lines, find our pressure altitude and follow it across to the approximate density altitude. Again, it's around 4,100 feet. All right, that's all the ways I know how to find density altitude and everything that you need to know on how to get it or calculate density altitude. Well, this in my previous video. But if you have another way to calculate it, let us know down in the comments because we would love to hear it. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video and if you enjoyed it, make sure to hit that like button and consider subscribing to see what we're doing next. Also make sure to head on over to our channel page to see some other amazing aviation content. And as always, share aviation wherever you can and we'll see you in the next one.